And just like I said, the recovery is about the same. I mentioned the vitamins. You have to be careful with beef, bread. Fruit or vegetables are really fibrous. You're going to have a hard time eating those things. Every year we recommend checking your vitamin levels. Okay? The complications are the same and very rare. And after you have a surgery, you're going to go through phases in your diet. Liquids, pureed food, and eventually soft foods. Okay? Now, the bypass can cause something called dumping syndrome. Okay? What is dumping syndrome? If you have a gastric bypass and you eat something that has sugar or is very dense, very concentrated, your body is not going to like it. Sugary stuff, you, your body thinks it's poisonous and it tries to get rid of it. How does it get rid of that? The bowel is going to start moving fast because it wants to eliminate it from below or above. So if you eat something that has sugar and you have a bypass, you may have diarrhea. Or you may get nauseous and you may vomit or you may get crampy pain. The other thing that people feel when, people have, when, when you have a bypass and you eat something sweet, you feel lightheaded, you feel weak. Why? Because instead of your sugar level going up when you eat something sugary, it's going to go down. You're going to have a low blood sugar and you feel weak. Some people f feel like they're gonna pass out, your heart can go fast, you can start shaking, things like that. That's dumping. Now, most people after a year, a year and a half, are gonna be fine. Dumping goes away, okay? Uh, but 10 to 50% of people who have a bypass can have dumping permanently. If you have a sleeve, you can have a very mild form of dumping that usually goes away after three, four, five months. So it's not uh, permanent. Other questions I get asked, doctor, after I have the surgery, can I get pregnant? So we don't recommend you getting pregnant for at least 18 months after surgery, okay? Now, after 18 months, once you lose, you've lost weight, getting pregnant is safer than getting pregnant when you have heavy weight. There's less chance of complications for you and your baby. So if you wanna get pregnant, having weight loss surgery actually is a good idea. Okay? The other thing is, is a lot of women cannot get pregnant because when you are heavy, the fatty tissue produces estrogens and it interferes with your ovaries, with the health of your uterus. And once people get, lose weight, then uh, they get pregnant. So we don't want you to get pregnant in the first 18 months after surgery. Now, let's say you already lost weight and now you have extra skin. Well, some people get loose skin, some people don't. It depends on the, the type of skin that you have, the, the, the quantity of uh, elastic fibers. So some people don't need it and the, the skin comes together nicely. On some people there's gonna be excess skin. If you're thinking about having weight loss surgery, uh, plastic surgery, and some people want to have their skin and the belly removed, some people have, want to have uh, breast implants, we recommend waiting at least 18 months before you do that. How about exercise? Exercise is a big thing. Exercise helps you prevent gaining weight after you have the surgery. So it's important for you to start exercising. After two weeks, you can start uh, walking, running, biking, and swimming. After a month, you can do any exercise you want. You can do weights, anything. So what can go wrong after weight loss surgery? Um, first of all, a lot of primary doctors, friends are gonna tell you this is very risky, don't do it, you can die from it. Ga weight loss surgery, gastric bypass or gastric sleeve is as safe or safer than having a gallbladder removed. Okay? The chance of dying from a gallbladder operation is about 1 in 100. This is 1 in 300. I have only lost one patient in 13 years of, of practice and I've done over 1,500 procedures. So it's very, very rare. It's a very safe procedure. This is elective surgery. We plan for it. So the most common problem is nausea after surgery. You eat something that doesn't agree with you, you can get a little nausea, sometimes vomit, you can get dehydrated. That can happen. Uh, what else? Well, weakness, we mentioned weakness. So in the first two weeks after surgery, you're only on liquids and you're gonna feel like there's no energy or gas in the tank. That usually goes away once you start uh, your next phase of diet, which is usually puree food. Now, in, in terms of long-term, the most common problem is vitamin deficiency. With these operations, you absorb less nutrients, you eat smaller portions, so you can develop vitamin deficiency. How do we prevent that? Well, there's a protocol. You take two multivitamins, calcium, iron, vitamin B12, and vitamin D, and you're gonna be fine. In, on top of that, we're gonna check vitamins on a yearly basis, and that's how we prevent it, okay? Now, in terms of major complications, anybody that has surgery can have bleeding. We're cutting things, so there's a chance of bleeding. The chance of that is very, very low.
it has been maybe seven or eight years since I had to give blood to anybody. So it's a rare occurrence. What else? Another one is called clots, thrombosis in your legs. So when you are in surgery, if you compare heavy people with smaller people, both have a chance when they're laying down for an hour of developing a clot in their legs. That's called deep vein thrombosis. You get pain in your leg, redness, and the leg gets swollen. We've had that happen twice only, okay? So we do things to prevent that. What do we do? We want patients to walk right away after surgery. You're gonna be walking the same day, okay? If you're in bed, you're gonna wear special devices that squeeze in your legs to prevent that from happening. If you, we consider that you're a high risk patient, like you're very, very heavy, you've had a history, or you have a history of having a clot before, we're gonna give you blood thinner to prevent those blood clots. The, the scary thing is that if you develop a blood clot in your leg, there is a very, very tiny chance, but it's a possibility that the clot may break and go into your lungs. That's called pulmonary embolism. That's really bad because that can take a patient away. We've never had that problem, thankfully, uh, but it's a possibility. Another complication is called a leak. When we do these operations, we're cutting the stomach. We're creating a staple line. We're cutting the stomach and the bowel, we're connecting things. So in theory, this can fall apart or this can pop open and then things from the inside leak out and cause a bad infection. That's extremely rare. I've only had one leak in a gastric sleeve and I think we've done already a thousand of these cases. So when did that happen? It usually happens when people have the surgery, they're on liquids. We tell them that they have to control their diet initially because you know they're, they're only tolerating certain things. For some reason, they go and do something crazy. They go and eat a piece of bread or like a burger. It has a meat and a bread, something that usually gets stuck with this operation. So you eat that and it gets stuck. And now you feel nauseous and you start retching, trying to vomit. And from all that pressure, that can pop. That would be a leak. Usually leaks are handled with endoscopy. We go and put a stent and fix it. But it's a rare uh, event. it can give you a better quality of life. Nothing can do that. So, we take all insurances. Um, we can give you an appointment as soon as the next, the next week. Uh, we also take patients who uh, wanna pay out of pocket. Um, usually the first thing we do is insurance verification if you're using insurance. You can contact us online through Facebook. You can visit our website. You can call us directly to our office, 956-631-8155, or we have a dedicated line, 956-540-8065. We take many patients from out of state. We have patients coming from Mississippi, Pennsylvania, California, Illinois, from all over the country, because I think uh, we not only offer good quality service and a good surgery, but we also have a co very competitive price.